Okay. Ed, tell us a little bit about what you've seen so far with the technology and what you're excited about and what what do you think is on the horizon for us? I think it's it's very fascinating. Uh, it's a little bit scary. Uh, the first thought that one of the thoughts that came to mind was what about what if this uh, driverless vehicles are affected by how is it affected by adverse weather conditions? It's all well and good that dealing with dealing with um, uh, dry pavement, perfect weather conditions, and there's probably it's easier to deal with that, but what happens when we have a rain, rainstorm, wet pavement, and snow? Um, uh, it's a little bit scary, um, but if we, we are a very talented group of people in this country and in, in our transportation engineering profession, and if there's, if there's a way to make this thing work, we'll find a way to do it. Karen, tell us about what you've learned so far and what you're looking forward to learn, learning at this conference. Well, I've learned that um, as much as I want to resist all of this technology, I'm just not going to be able to do it. It's happening right around me, so I'm going to have to make some adjustments in my life. And um, one of the things I'm looking forward to, to doing is going to the How to Twitter session later this afternoon because right now I do not know how to tweet. So uh, that's something I'm going to add to my toolbox. Well, I'll tell you that the IT is always the great place to network, but I've found uh, some great information on technology, being the uh, public relations chair for the Western District. We're looking for ways to try to promote advocacy for ITE and our members, and uh, I'm finding an awful lot about some of the techniques and uh, some of the research that's going out there to see what the other district and what ITE is using, so it looks great. what you have seen so far with emerging technologies, where you think you're going, and what you hope to get out of this meeting for moving forward. Okay, where do we think we're going with connected and automated vehicles to a better place, in that uh, safety benefits are huge, with uh, forecast 80% reduction. 80% of the accidents that happen today won't be happening tomorrow with connected and automated vehicles. We also get benefits for mobility and we get benefits for the environment. The key is to merge the technology innovations with policy so that we don't have 8,000 vehicles per lane per hour being delivered on these lanes into a downtown arterial system that is not prepared to handle. So ITD definitely has a role to play in that. We've got to get involved.